What's up everyone? It's your girl Irene underscore Japan guys. Welcome back to our channel. So my good people in today's reaction video, but before I introduce uh, our video today, let me take this opportunity to welcome anybody who is coming for the first time. Kindly consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And for those who are coming back, what else can I say apart from a very big thank you and appreciation for your support? I don't take it for granted. So in today's reaction video, I'm going to analyze uh, Marwa's latest video. And also, I'm going to talk about Mogesi, the ungrateful Mogesi. Mogesi is very ungrateful. Imagine he was invited to attend this one-day party when the Princeton students were coming to the villa. And he didn't attend it because he was busy in the shop, a shop which was opened by somebody who knew him from the travel commando. See the irony there. So we are also going to talk about Rocio's uh, latest video. She posted a video about uh, the comparison, not really comparison, but what she learned uh, while traveling all this time. Remember she actually, they started from Kenya and then Tanzania, Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and then now Namibia, South Africa, and Kingdom of Eswatini, Kingdom of uh, Lesotho. Those are the old countries that they visited and then they, ca they came uh, back. I hope I didn't repeat uh, a country there because I feel like I repeated. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to analyze that video. We are also going to talk about Di Mwango and congratulate her for the achievement, you know. It's an inspiring uh, video. You know, she's inspiring a lot of uh, young girls outside here. And also we will talk about uh, David Jr. because she wrote an emotional letter to her sister. You know, and yeah, let's not discuss more about it because it's in the video. And last, we are going to talk about Mama Ann. Mama Ann's family channel uh, came out with a video with also an emotional video. Um, not really an emotional video, but an emotional letter to the travel commando. And in this particular video, Mama Ann also talked a lot, like in a good way, and praying for Mara whenever, uh, wherever he is, or even wherever he will be going to, the people that he will be meeting, like he prayed for all these things. And I was so happy to see that at least we have um, grateful people outside there appreciating the people that changed their lives you know i was so happy guys so let us jump into the reaction video have you subscribed So let us start this video by talking about, or not really talking, but analyzing uh, the Travel Commando's latest video where he went to visit Jamaican uncle's land and Giti River's land. And I am so happy that so many people in the comment section were so happy for Giti River and also so appreciative of him being a loyal friend of the Travel Commando and somebody who can be trusted and honest at the same time so you know there is a reason people are wondering like why is Marwa rooting for Gitiriba like this much you know people are wondering but you know something that they don't really know like some not really everybody is that you know Gitiriba is this one guy that you see, when the travel commando was uh, struggling, like constructing the villa, that was now like three to two years ago, you know, even that road was impossible, but Gite Riba was there since day one. So simply what I'm trying to say is that Gite Riba has seen all the goods and the bads of the process, you know, when I talk about the bads, it's all about the challenges that the travel commando has gone through uh, while he has been constructing this 
Villa Medellin is home now. And yeah, of course for me if the travel commando comes out now and yeah asks people to support Gitiriba when it comes to maybe uh, constructing a house and even thanking them for the purchase of the new the new land. Yeah, of course it's a new land because it's been only two months of ownership you know and my good people some people are like Gitiriba you are, you are constructing a very big house but you see it's better to do one big house than you see if you don't believe in yourself or if you don't have confidence in yourself you'll be like let me just do a small um a house and then after some time you feel like you are capable of uh, doing it and you start regretting again why did i have to start with a smaller one you remember when nasto wanted to do a construction of his house the current one you know he wanted to do something very small and he was told oh my brother no so if you decide to do a construction just do a proper one a bigger one and yeah call it a day and he did that and we thank god like several months later i think now it should be around six or eight eight months there and yeah i am sure he can't regret you know but if he didn't believe in himself if he did not trust in his audience you know he would have started with maybe one room and then after some time he, he will be like yeah that my audience really love me supports me and we will see him again starting another foundation for a bigger house you know so there is need for having confidence and trust in yourself as a person as i had said like uh, gitiriba has been the travel commandos rider since day one you need to go and see when the travel commando was starting to construct villa medellin how that environment used to look like like it was a forest basically like a forest and one of the major challenges that he went through while um transporting the materials uh, to the land to villa medellin was the road because there was no road by then it was just a walk path and a tiny one because it was only used by people there were no cars uh, by then so when he wanted to transport his materials like at the beginning of the construction it was challenging because people were refusing uh, these tippers to pass through those uh, places because of course they were going to touch is uh, the, not is but uh, their lands and when you hear the travel commander talking about you know I would really love if my friends come and construct around uh, his place or they become his neighbors you know he has a reason for that because when it comes to him having this particular road now that leads to Villa Medellin, it was a struggle between him and these owners of land because they used to charge him to pass, like to go down there. But you see, now he really praised God that, you know what, I hope, like all these lands that had, like, le that leads towards his home, he will really, like, I love that, you know, at least some pe people that he has empowered or even the subscribers like uh, they should be the ones owning those lands so that you know in the near future if, if they want to do any development it will be really easier for them because you know they are friends it is easier to agree on a b c d but as of now it is hard because you know yeah i hope you understand and Again, immediately after he finished with uh, the Jamaican uncle's land and Gitte River's land where they had actually measured and all that, they visited Chacha's home. So for those who don't know Chacha's home, Chacha is the son of its underscore Percy. Its underscore Percy is a neighbor of uh, the travel commando and the only neighbor together now with his husband by then he was still alive the only ones who allowed uh, or who never had any problem with the travel commando transporting his materials to the villa that is when he was two years ago three years ago there and god has a plan for everybody because you know at the not really at the end at the beginning of this year you know the children all of them got sponsors people who 
actually were going to take them to school and Mara went to check on them today. They were a little bit skinnier but you know it's normal when you go to a boarding school like most of the time when it comes to balanced diet it's really hard. You'll find that every day like during dinner you take the same food or supper the same food uh, during lunch hour it's the same and in the morning it's the same even me i actually uh, went to a boarding school and in the morning it used to be tea like for those three months that we were in school lunch time always it's um, a mixture of beans and corn which we call it locally as um Gideri and then supper it's ugali and either uh, skuma wiki or kels and or also cabbage you know so you imagine for three months taking like that specific meal and then at the same time it's not like you are given a lot a lot it they ration it so it's something very normal so in that process of being in this boarding school you also meet different people not really people but uh, different kids from different places you get to share you get to learn so at least it's a very nice place so um I saw some people were like worried, you know, and at the same time, the brother of Chacha, okay, the one, the one who is old, I, when he was asked, like, would you love to stay in boarding or be at home? And he preferred at home. Yeah, that's uh, what happens most of the time. If you take a child to a boarding school, the next time they will be like, no, I don't want <laughs> because, you know, boarding schools are also strict. You know, you have to wake up at specific time and it's earlier than if you stay uh, at home and then taking breakfast by the time it's lunch hour it, like it's just crazy but at the same time it's an experience of its own it addens you you know because you are in the in the midst of these people pupils that you know everyone has is or our own character and there is nobody to speak for you so at the same time you learn to speak for, for yourself and it's an amazing experience what I can say is uh, to thank so much the sponsors of um, Chacha and the the siblings generally because yeah we can clearly see the conditions that uh, they have been living in but at the same time I'm happy that we have so many uh, subscribers who are willing to support uh, Percy not only Percy but People in Nyabo Anse, YouTubers in Nyabo Anse, Marwa's audience, you are the best of the best of the best that I can never get tired of talking about or appreciating you, you know. I know some people are always uh, very mad when most of us always come out here and in each and every video we are just thankful, thankful, thankful. I don't know why you are mad because, yeah, if somebody has changed your life in a positive way, of course, you should never forgive, for, forget, not really forgiving, but there is no way like you can easily for, forget, you know, unless you took that support for granted and then maybe you can forget about it, about it and yeah, that's why we always see this kind of dramas of ungrateful people because for them they are just like you know what I, I just want to use this person to gain this and then they, once they get that support and they leave and then maybe it backfires they start now uh, talking bad being ungrateful about uh, Mara visiting church and the family you see is somebody who really cares like extremely cares about them you can imagine it's not even his uh, kids but he cares for them like three much and now let's talk about the ungrateful ones now this mogesi mogesi you know uh he did a not really a live stream but a video on why he rejected Marwa's emergency call. So this was a video that actually addressed the visitors the, from Princeton, you know. So according to him, he was phoned to actually attend that uh, one-day party, but he couldn't because, you know what, he was busy. Guys, imagine, he was busy. So he couldn't attend uh, that 
one day party and i'm like are you sure you are invited because if you were really invited and you're saying that you are too busy with your business to attend it doesn't make sense at all and it shows that you are a very ungrateful person because you know if it comes to this business that he talks about, uh, which is the boutique he sells uh, second-hand clothes, it was made possible by actually somebody who first knew Marwa, and then when Marwa opened the world to Nyabo Anse, or is it when Marwa opened Nyabo Anse to the world, something like that, the world got to know about uh, the people of Nyabo Anse, Nyabo Anse, and yeah, I can confidently say that, you know, Mogesi was known courtesy of Marwa, and when he went to the villa to take care of these animals, you know, he actually said, you know, I want my channel to grow, but yeah, as much as you want your channel to grow, you know, you should also be grateful, because if Marwa had said no, what would have happened, you would have gone back and um, continue pushing when it comes to subscribers, watch hours. And someone like Mogesi, he had started like uh, way back, even before going to the villa. It's only that uh, when he actually saw like, you know what, uh, my views are not viewing, subscribers are not subscribing. Is that a sentence? Like people, the audience were not subscribing. He opted to go to the villa to pretend like he was taking care of these horses and yeah he got views like within a very short time and remember he had spent almost five to six months there trying to struggle with uh, videos and views and yeah everything so now he's doing very very well and he is invited to this one day party and you know what? It's just like, yeah, I was too busy to attend. So we have Paris who travel from Tanzania to attend uh, the party. Not because, like, um, she didn't want to, but, you know, she just had to as a way of being grateful. Because, you know, once you are told kindly, uh, will you be in this party to receive the visitors and all that, you know, yeah, you should be there. You should avail yourself, you know. Even uh, Minhawi and CJ, they were in Mombasa, you know. They had all the reasons to say, boss, we are far. We cannot manage to attend the party. But, you know, they didn't uh, use any excuse. They did not say any excuse. They just came back, like, uh, quickly. And, yeah, the day ended well. And I don't know why for Mogesi, just a neighbor of the travel commando there, but he could not attend that particular um one day party you know which was really bad and it's a sign of ungratefulness for on this i will totally disagree with him that he was busy you know what you know that's it. that is being ungrateful because the next time that your channel is going to be down you know you'll start asking for forgiveness and then you want to go back to the villa to use uh his brand and villa medellin you know villa medellin is a brand of its own at the same time just like the horses you know that is what will happen once uh, the channel goes down so anyway people should just be uh grateful like it's always good to be grateful you know so now uh let's talk about uh rocio rocio posted a video uh giving a personal opinions about the goods and the bad sides of these countries or or how i can put it is uh what he learned something like that uh while traveling so remember they started from kenya like uh now you know they had to start from kenya of course before going to any other country because the main person that was being taken around was rocio now that kenya is her home you know so they started from kenya and then they went to tanzania and and they entered malawi and then zambia zimbabwe botswana they went to south africa and then uh, the kingdom of eswatini and the kingdom of lesotho 10 countries and yeah she came out or is it she came up with a video doing the goods and the birds and in this particular video she focused on food transport 
development wise the people and internet yeah so under maybe the food she was really appreciative of uh the organic food that they have been okay like literally you know she was like when it comes to gmo foods genetically modified uh, food you know of course it's not healthy everyone knows that and she was appreciative of this upper part like the east african part because when they ate some fruits most of the fruits they add seeds but as you add towards the south the further end most of the most of the fruits don't have seeds even that is something even for me i didn't know like imagine eating something like uh, orange and then there is no seed like for me it's kind of a abnormal but you know we learned a lot in these videos you know the travel commandos and rocios about the transportation yeah she was like you know if you head towards the south now you will start seeing good roads but of course not everywhere because if you go in like interior uh, like further away from these urban centers the roads are not like uh, really nice which is known all over africa actually but of course even in even in uh, western world we have these places that are very far from where people live like uh, the off road the off roads you know if you watch ichi boots you'll see this kind of roads they are not really like uh, good but you know the only difference is that you know for africa this kind of uh, bad roads like it's where people live it's uh, shopping centers yeah compared to the western world where you will find uh, where these people live it's like you'll see a tarmac road to your house like something like that or i think when you when you construct your house it's you who makes the pavement and then it joins with the road that the government has done something like that and about the internet connection uh of course when it comes to africa and the internet parallel not really parallel in almost most of the countries but it depends if, even here in kenya like if you live in an urban place at least the internet connection is better and if you go further away from this urban centers yeah even the network itself for the for calling you know it's normally not really strong and stable yeah so it's um something which is a uh, kind of normal so yeah about uh, the developments yeah, as you add towards the south that's what also i noted in these videos developments uh, become like you can see uh, how developed these countries are and when i researched about these uh, why the south african countries are more developed than the east african countries so this was impacted or it was mainly because you see during the uh, when settlers were actually going to settle in those areas they are countries now in, maybe in this western world they were like the banks they were like ready to support them with loans and also they they were ready to like invest in these countries and of course in this kind of places where we have mixed people from all over the world it's easier to like developed develop quickly but at the same time in the south african area region you know when these settlers uh, moved into those countries you know the education system is different but you see for most of us in the east african part uh, especially most of us like 90 percent of us now we went through the old education system which focused more on reading books you know like there is nothing practical just reading books only of which theory can never help you it's like the talent part most of us like you'll just be talented but you'll stay like that until when you maybe reach in, in high school that's when you start like looking for this um club so which it will be like really hard for them to take you in yeah because most of them you'll find that they have already nurtured uh, their players from maybe these private schools and yeah it's a kind of uh, challenging so with good education they also came with innovation like uh, you see when it comes to innovation oh my god and western world they focus so much on that solving like oh my god if you are lucky to be born in those countries yeah count yourself
lucky you know anyway uh that was it when it comes to Rocio. so now let's talk about uh dimwango dimwango did a live stream yesterday and now she's premiering a video of this live stream that um she was trying to tell us you know what you shouldn't miss it because you know it's two hours it's a special one and she was talking about this place or rather this continent or country that she was going to visit or travel and this particular country is this uh, country that uh, the visa is worldwide like uh, it's technically called a worldwide visa uh, country like when you have a visa from this country you can visit all countries in the world easily and she was celebrating that very happy about that and yeah most of the people guessed it was united states of america and yeah there is a video of her premiering now so definitely i also believe it's united states of america because it's the only country that uh with their passport not passport with their visa you can be able to travel all over the world easily you know so for america i think they give visas to people like d mango uh marwa for around 10 7 like it depends uh years there and yeah our girl is going places our girl is um inspiring us inspiring the young ladies the old ladies and we thank god that at least we have people we can look up to and now it's time to uh, go and learn about these countries for real about the caribbean nation we learned so much we knew a lot of things we get to understand like she literally connected us africans with uh the caribbean people jamaican people and all these people who knew that even there is an island called saint vincent me i didn't know i didn't know about the tax and the caicos and now we know so uh, as she moves to this other world yeah we can't wait to learn so so much so i watched the video uh tomorrow which she has published today because i understand it's actually 12 a.m right now so uh let's finish our video i think it's the last, second last one uh, by discussing or analyzing david jr's video where he was actually like actually that video was a, an emotional letter to her sister and in this video she was uh, basically dedicating the video to her sister Di Mwango congratulating her about the achievement you know that's something that they have been praying for like everyone always wished to have a visa to this particular country United States of America and fortunately the the year 2024 has been a great year for Di Mwango uh, you know she started the year by uh, gifting the mother this car furnishing the house not really like all of it but the kitchen and now you know she is going to this like um first world country and yeah everything is going to be good so the brother was basically like um congratulating her for everything that uh d has been doing d has supported even the sister we need to open a business the virginia was supporting the fact that uh, she has been supporting her all throughout you know and what really made me also emotional in this video is this particular lady who started a channel uh just yesterday and uh, she's called the queen Queen of Nyabuanze or Queen Nyabuanze, something like that. So this particular lady went to see the Virginia so that the V can help her. Uh, maybe give her a shout out and yeah Devi did it he didn't refuse but at the same time Devi advised her you know if you want to succeed in youtube you need to be consistent publish uh, quality videos and all will be well but if I, you come i give you a shout out and you don't go to post any video it's not going to help you so like she told now the virginia he told this particular lady like the truth nothing but the truth consistency matters uh on youtube so let's finish our video by talking about mama Anne's family you know this channel is being um managed by one of the daughter and she's 
actually doing an amazing job so in one of the videos i think a video done one day ago uh she she actually wrote a letter to the travel commando i am yet to know if she delivered it but in this emotional letter she was extremely thankful of uh, the travel commando because she reflected from the day and um wrote her wrote him a letter and even before Anne wrote Marwa a letter which transformed uh, their lives like just like within a blink of an eye they were in this mud house and the next day they are in this beautiful not really next day but um in 10 days they were in this permanent house and yeah Mahan was even very happy because nowadays if it rains she doesn't even know like in the morning she'll wake up and she'll be shocked like oh so it rained during the night because you know now she has a ceiling so if it rains heavily like unless it is extremely strong the rains now then you can hear but if it's not strong you're not going to hear so she was really thankful you can imagine coming from a mud house to a permanent home so even mama han in that process she, she was actually praying for Mara like uh, whenever he's uh, traveling anywhere, either using a border, border, a car, may God protect him and may God always bless him for being nice to everyone in the village. God bless him for changing the village. God bless him for changing people's lives. Like uh, Mama Han was really appreciative at the same time. And I was so happy about uh, this particular letter. Like it was a letter of being thankful. She was actually, the family was thankful to Marwa for changing their lives and to the point that they are right now you know they are being supported to construct um, this modern kitchen a permanent kitchen and that is also courtesy of uh, the travel commando which they uh, stated in that later and yeah it was really really good because uh, it's rare to find people that have been supported and then at the end of the day yeah they 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 actually take it for granted you know most of the people take this support for granted they, you know people don't think about if Mara had uh, refused to support them how would life have been you know so I was so happy about uh, Mama Anne's family channel and all of them in general for uh, being thankful. So I am yet to know if they delivered the letter, but even if they did not uh, deliver the letter, you know, their emotional letter is appreciated by everybody the audience and i know yeah mara will even uh, watch the video because you can imagine the person that changed your life i can't also wait for one to finish a uh, form four or high school and then start doing youtube i know for one she will always be grateful because uh, even during the party you know what used to happen Anne used to come to maybe do the cleaning and just go back home like it's a way of being thankful also to Mara, you know and you know uh, i think she also has a sponsor who takes her through school and of course yeah she can never forget about that so guys i hope you loved uh, this video kindly subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so see you tomorrow guys